There's a lot of new and exciting things that are occurring here at the hospital, changes in the air. In a year and a half since I've been here, we've instituted a new approach. Uh, that approach involves four aspects. The first is ensuring that we're doing quality work and how we report that. The second is uh, enhancing our relationship with the community and developing community partners. Uh, next would be making sure that we have strong leadership and that leadership has clear vision. And finally, and most exciting, is that uh, we've increased and enhanced our patient programming and we've spent a lot of energy and uh, dedicated a tremendous amount of time to ensure that the staff is educated to provide these services. One of the newest tools that we've implemented here at John George is the use of a labyrinth. Labyrinths have been around for centuries, and folks use them uh, as a meditative tool and as a guide to their journey towards wellness and recovery. I initially heard about the labyrinth when a former employee speech pathologist at Fairmont Hospital came and talked about her daughter who was suffering from MS and the benefits of the labyrinth that they built in their backyard. Kind of thought about, well, how, come, how can it work here? Guy asked us, all the leaders at John George Pavilion, how we can be better, how my department can be better, how we can be one of those top 10 acute psychiatric hospitals in the nation. So when I approached Guy about that, he said, absolutely, I believe in labyrinths and I really would like to see it happen. When we hired Dr. Good Harris, we wanted to include the trees, the environment, and so when we had her come out to look at the area, she was very excited to see what she was able to use. So she measured the area and then we met several times. And then after the final go-ahead, it was just a matter of collaborating with other disciplines, the gardener, the, the painters, the engineers, and then we had to rally some volunteers. We had a terrific group of volunteers for three days. It was a collaborative effort that I think was a very positive uh, approach, but also just to show the support of why this labyrinth was so important to John George, because it was so unique to an acute psychiatric hospital. My name is Carissa, and I'm an occupational therapy student at USC. And my name is Connie, and I'm an occupational therapy student at Columbia. We've been walking the labyrinth with our patients a few times. It's really important for them to have some meaning and purpose um, to their walking and their pacing when they're on the courtyard. Also for uh, relaxation, some meditation. It also helps them find peace of mind, um, just center themselves, so it's a great tool. I've had patients tell me that, you know, when they walk through, they forget about their problems, they meditate in the labyrinth, you stand near the colors of the labyrinth, and it's energizing. Research from Harvard shows that the use of labyrinths works as a stress management tool. They're breathing more slowly, their heart rate reduces, their stress levels decline and their agitation goes down. We are getting some responses from our patients that are very, very positive and for the very reason why we put the labyrinth in. The reactions I'm getting from patients as I'm walking through the units is, especially from patients who have been here before, is positive. They're saying this is a kinder, friendlier place. The collaboration and teamwork is amazing to watch. We've restructured uh, how teams approach patient care on the units. We have doctors and social workers together with nurses and occupational therapists all in the same room, all at the same time, talking about patient care and everyone's bringing their best to the table. It's, it's just amazing to watch. So now we have great tools. We have great support from our staff. We have the community is so excited about the changes and they're involved in the changes here at John George. I'm looking forward to great things happening here. John George will be a place and it's becoming a place today where folks say that's where great care is occurring.